All right, what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's McCookie. We're playing on the map Aquarium in the background. I got my favorite. I'm just going to say this is now my favorite submachine gun in the game. Probably my favorite gun in the game. And I know my opinion and stuff jumps off a lot. But, dude, this Weevil, after the silencer buff, this thing is insane i'm gonna recommend you guys a class that i'm using in this video and you guys should definitely try it out let me know down below in the comment section what you think of the class but anyway let's get right into it i'm using the weevil with a silencer quick draw and grip and my perks are flag jacket fast hands with hardwired uh perk two greed flat, fast hands and hardwired and my third perk is tactical mask and you guys are going to see all my perks kind of come into play over and over again in the video. I, I tank a couple stun grenades, which might have gotten me killed. And a bunch of other things. My perks really come into play. I'm also using the Ripper ability, which is my hands down my favorite specialist ability in the game. Really great for close quarter stuff. And if you're doing something like running around with a combat knife or a shotgun or a submachine gun... It's just nasty because you're already within lethal range of the weapon. Look at that. Get a nasty three-piece before I try and slide and then I accidentally just take a knee instead. I do that all the time in this game because I'm, I don't know, I'm just a spaz sometimes. It's, a, it's an accident, it happens, whatever. That was one of my few, that was actually my last death before the very end when the game, uh, when the game comes to a close. But anyway, I managed to pick up a brutal medal in this gameplay. I very could have easily gone a nuclear if I played a little smarter and later on I'll tell you guys what I mean. Basically, I'm slowly starting to realize that the spawns flip on a dime in this game. And the best thing you can do, as tempting as capturing a flag and domination may be, is to stay away from your team. Because what ends up happening is, your whole team is going to cap a flag. Chances are, if there's more than two or three guys ahead of you and they're already on the flag, they cap the flag and then the other team is spawning on the other side of the map. I kind of caught on to this pattern, on at least on this map that happens to me on this map i kind of caught on to that a little too late and it kind of cost me the nuclear and i honestly had no idea um like what gun streak i was on right there guys to stay alive in this game you got to really you know pick and choose your fights i saw that guy using this head glitch right here on me and i have a submachine gun i'm not going to try and out head glitch a guy who has the advantage on me so i just pulled out backed off and i i uh i live to tell live to tell another story Right there, nasty quad feed with the lightning strike. I also wanted to talk about the kill streaks that I'm using in this video because honestly, everything that I'm running in this game is my favorite. In this match is actually my favorite setup, period. I'm using the lightning strike, which was recently buffed, and it's honestly the best kill streak of the lower end kill streaks. And I'm also using the Wraith, which actually got buffed like two or three times in the last few days. The Wraith is legit now. Like, unless you have a team of jerks who are just waiting with black cells to take out your stuff, like literally a whole team tries, the Wraith will now get you a consistent five to seven kills, finally. I mean, I know I wish, I, I really wish that uh, that was kind of the case um, in the beginning of, like, when the game came out. But hey, you know what? Vondahar is releasing patches that are making the game better every day. Once again, look at how nasty this Ripper is. I just killed those two guys, and they're spawning up, and they think they're going to have better luck. Oh, man. You know what? Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me, baby. Sit down. The Ripper, the Popsicle Sticks, they are nasty, guys. And remember, there's a Wolverine in all of us. Right here, my teammates are starting to push into A. And I'm trying to decide whether I should, like, stay around this flag. Should I help this teammate? I kind of didn't want to cap this flag because I want the game to last longer. Because I had a hunch that I could probably go on a really high gun streak. Which ended up happening. Right there. Super, super lucky kill. I was actually expecting to die right there. Because uh, the guy had the head glitch on me. Um, real quick about the gun, guys. This is basically the P90 with the accuracy of the ACR from Modern Warfare 2. I'm just going to say that right now. If you guys write this gun off as a P90, it's not doing it justice because this gun is better than the P90. The P90, I think, had a little better close range damage. Um, but this one, it's like, it's it's so good. And I, it's funny because I used to think this gun was a joke. Like, I honestly think, like, I used to make fun of this gun. I used to think it was just, like, probably the weakest gun. In the beta, it was, like, the weakest gun in the game. But, I mean, so many things have changed since then. This gun is amazing. And with a silencer, it, it feels like it does more damage with a silencer. As stupid as that sounds, it just feels like it does more damage. Right here, um, people started to rage quit after I got that four-piece lightning strike. So, I'm trying, I'm kind of having difficulty finding guys. Get turned on, son. Get turned on. 
Um, really starting to get a little, little nervous at this point, but I'm just trying to bum rush as hard as possible. When I was playing, I actually didn't know what gun streak I was on at all. I figured I was close to something really high, but I never noticed, like watching it back now, I see the medals, but I was so in the moment that I never noticed that I was like on a relentless or a brutal or any of that stuff. And, and it's just, I don't know, like this gun is so good. I cannot stress that enough. And the kill streaks I'm using are actually really good. I mean, I feel like they're the only kill streaks that stand out in the game, the lightning strike, the wraith and the hater. The hater needs a buff, and I'm going to call it right now that the next kill streak that Vondahar is going to buff is probably the hater. He's probably going to make it so that it takes like an extra missile or two to shoot down, because lately I was playing with my boy Bushmeat the other night, and they kept shooting down my hater like 15, 20 seconds into it, when it's supposed to last like 45 seconds. So, as soon as that gets buffed, I'll, pr I'll be pretty unstoppable in this game. But right there, my, see my Wraith is also stealing my kills right now. It could have, this game could have been a nuclear very easily. But honestly, I'm just grateful to get a Brutal. Because I have just wanted to get a Relentless in this game. Like I said, this is my first game getting a Relentless, let alone a Brutal. And right here, I'm just going in. Like, I, I know that I'm close to something crazy. And I also, I don't know if you guys know, but Ripper kills, all Specialist kills, pick up the Brutal right there. All Specialist weapon kills, they actually count towards your gun streak. So if you get like five kills with the scythe, that's toward that's going towards your nuclear streak. Right there, I'm fisting the air because I'm just so excited that I got a brutal. Guys, listen how crazy mean this uh, this Spectre guy is coming up. I love the Spectre, you guys. Like honestly, he's so damn cool. It's ridiculous. Um, you guys are gonna hear him right now. I got a rare taunt for him. He's just he's dissing everybody. Just listen to this. It, it's just he's just ridiculous. It wouldn't require a cleaner to take you out. A janitor would suffice. Damn! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, man. Right there, this Spectre has no chill. And right there, guys, check it out. I'm rocking the new Illuminati epic helmet that Vondahar released into the game. Uh, real quick, I was kind of wrong in my last video when I said that the last patch didn't do anything. It actually made it so that we could buy uh, COD points. And COD points you can in turn use to buy... Um, crypto keys you can use it to buy a bunch of stuff you can use it to buy i think it's called the divinian like potion liquid for um zombies so that you can make gumballs and stuff huge patch but also if you guys don't know anti up was buffed so now it's 100 point towards your kill streak and the suppressor was buffed and the suppressor feels amazing if you guys like using a silencer in other call of duties please slap on a silencer now because it is it is almost back to top tier form it's really good and right here, I wanted to show you guys the class I was running for this gameplay. Basically, like I said, the Weevil with a giant-ass silencer on it with quick draw and um, grip. And most important perk of all the perks I have is fast hands. Fast hands basically allows you to, to aim your gun faster after sprinting. You stack that with quick draw and holy shit, is it so good in close quarter combat for snapping onto targets. Fast hands, hands down the best perk in the game. I'm also using Flag Jacket because I like to get on objectives and people spam grenades at objectives. Then I have Hardwired because it's immune to three pages worth of stuff in the game. And I'm rocking Tactical Mask. If you guys want, you could probably swap Tactical Mask or maybe Blast Suppressor. I don't know. Up to you. Anyway, guys, that's the video. Got a quick and nasty Brutal Metal with the Weevil suppressed. This gun is unbelievable. Guys... If you want, try out my class, and if you do, let me know what you think down below. That's the video. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, if you enjoyed, smash that like button with your pinky ring, and subscribe for more. I'll talk to you all later. My cookie out.